ho, 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 and Merry Christmas, everyone. I hope you all are having the most wonderful of wonderful Christmases ever. If you don't celebrate, listen, I hope you have a good damn day yourself, all right? As always, though, we must keep the tradition alive. I wanted to get another DLC prediction video out for you guys today, so I hope you guys enjoy my choices for the Amazon pack. As always, definitely do let me know your choices down below for both the animal pack and the scenery pack, as well as anything I might have missed. I tend to miss things a lot, or forget things a lot. You know, I'm just big old dummy pants when it comes to that, but without further ado, we're just gonna jump right into the thick of it with the Cappy Bara. Yes, so I want to take a little moment to touch upon the Amazon pack and the whole idea of it. It doesn't seem like Frontier is letting go of the idea of themed area packs, anytime often so i would definitely expect frontier to do an amazon pack to really flesh out on what they missed in the south america dlc and i can definitely see an animal pack happening with this in particular i would love to see that but with that being said the capybara is obviously number one on our list I, it's probably number one on everyone's list at this point everyone loves a good old coconut doggy and who does not i feel like they are essential zoo animals without a doubt and they represent the Amazon perfectly, so I think they'd make a number one headliner for this pack. But moving on from there, we also have a lot of other animals in the Amazon that I would love to see. For example, the Black Howler Monkey. These guys are really cool. We have them over at Roger Williams Park Zoo. They are really cool. They have some really beautiful sexual dimorphism. Hopefully you can see it in the picture right above. But I don't know, I just really do like them. And audio, can we talk about audio? Frontier always knocks it out of the park with audio. I mean, have you guys listened to the links yet? They are annoying as heck, but I love them so much. Their little yelps are the most adorable thing I've ever heard. Even the fallow deer with its bleps. I don't even know what to call these things, but you know what? I think Frontier would nail it with the Black Howler Monkey. But moving on from there, I also have the Ocelot. Ocelots are always such beautiful little creatures. I always love my small mammals, especially small cats, and the ocelot is one that is extremely iconic. I know a lot of times when I build realistic zoos, the jaguar really isn't the most feasible animal in there to get, but if I kind of settle for a South American cat, I'd probably go for an ocelot, and I would love to see Frontier tackle them. Plus, they always do such an amazing job with their cats. They would nail it with an ocelot. Now moving on from there, what else do Frontier nail things with? That's right, reptiles, not a hammer. So I think the Black Cayman would be a wonderful addition as well. Listen, I know we already have the Spectacled Cayman. Actually, no, it's not even Spectacled Cayman. It's the Cuvier Swerve Cayman. Oh my gosh, the Spectacled would be another one as well. Johnny, put that up on the screen right now. Everyone give it up for Johnny. Now. Either Cayman would be amazing. I feel like just the Cuvier's Dwarf Cayman. It's a beautiful animal, don't get me wrong. It's probably one of my favorites in the game, but getting another one would be amazing to have. Now, moving on from there, we are going to go for another clone animal. Listen, guys, you don't fight me on this. I love tapirs, okay? I know you guys do too. Now, the South American tapir would be one that I would love to have in the game. They're extremely common in North American zoos, even more so than Bairds, even more so than Malayan, and these guys are like so freaking cool. They have little mohawks. What's not to love about that? Of course, I would definitely love to see tapirs in the game. Maybe the mountain tapir too. Johnny, throw that one up as well. But either way, if we get a new tape here, I'd be a happy little guy. Let's just hope they actually change the model on this one, am I right? Now, moving on from there, we have another anteater. Yes, oh my gosh, there's another anteater? Well, yeah, there is. It's called the Southern Tamandua. We have these at Roger Williams as well. We have a really good South American section now that I just realized it. But the Southern Tamandua is a really cool one. They actually look like they have a little vests on. They look really cute and dapper, which is exactly why I love them. So getting these guys officially would be great as well. They also can climb, which I feel like we kind of miss out with the giant anteater. Obviously, giant anteaters can't really climb. I know probably someone's going to yell at me in the comments saying, oh, I saw one climb it. The shame. Zero. No, I don't care. I, I want tiny climbing anteaters. And that's why the Southern Tamandua would be a wonderful little addition. Moving on from there, I also have the last habitat animal. And I know some people might fight me on this, but I think Frontier, with their recent streak of animals, can really give this one justice. 
the two-toed sloth. Yes, I know, I know, the koala doesn't even climb on trees when they spend most of their life arboreally. But listen, seeing Frontier's recent track record and the new developers that are in there, like, I don't know who they're hiring, but the last like a few packs have been absolutely amazing so getting a functional two-toed sloth is something that is not out of the realm of possibilities i think frontier can nail it with these guys they're extremely common in zoos which is why i'm opting for them instead of the three-toed sloth which is only found in like you know only a handful of zoos i think only one in the united states but that's another story whatever and of course the exhibit animal would be the emerald tree boa nothing else to say about that they're just really beautiful now moving on from there, we also have the scenery pack. We're gonna keep this relatively quick because I don't think South America really needs a scenery pack, but let's keep it going. Number one, Capybara. What's not to love? Number two, Ocelot. Love these guys. Number three, Black Howler Monkey. Number four, Two-Toed Sloth. Listen, I wish I could get more creative with these choices, but these are probably the number one animals that I would love to have in the game. While I will say that Maine Wolves would be a wonderful addition, they're not really found in the Amazon, so that does kind of take them off the list for me. It would have been great to have them in the South America DLC, but unfortunately we didn't really get the chance to get that. But moving on from there, we also have the scenery. I would just like to see more South American foliage, especially with the um, recent addition of the European pack, seeing all those natural climbing frames. Frontier, what the hell are you doing? I want more of those. Guys, please, I want more. I would love to see a lot more tropical endorsed ones. Definitely ones kind of based off of like the tropical foliage that we already have in game. Like more climbable branches and stuff like that would be amazing to see. And I feel like that would be like worth it in a pack itself as well as like all the rest of the foliage. But moving on from there, I would love to see a lot more rope. Uh, I would love to see that be in conjunction with like a lot more bridges, a lot more like, you know, very tiny rope. If you guys have seen Nick's Safari Pack Edition, where it has like the tiny, 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 tiny rope, I would love to see a lot of stuff very much on brand with that. Maybe even more temple pieces, but you listen, I'm not even going to be choosy about this. I'd prefer an animal pack other than anything else. Now with the, all that being said, that's pretty much it. Oh my gosh. Definitely do let me know what your ideal picks would be for an Amazon pack down below. Let me know what you guys think of this in general. Would you guys even get the Amazon pack? I don't know. I feel like just having capybaras, I'd pay 20 bucks for a capybara in the game. You kidding me? Now, of course, that's pretty much all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much. I really do hope you guys are all enjoying your holidays. Hope you enjoy Christmas. Hope you enjoy New Year's. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. Take care and have the most wonderful of wonderful days. Bye-bye now.